Callan for 74XX back with another quick arcade repair bite. Today we have the most adorable jam aboard, Atari Tetris, that's booting to a black screen. Let's get it fixed. You might know Atari Tetris as Tengen Tetris, which was the NES conversion that actually allowed for two player Tetris, unlike the Nintendo one, which made it the better one. Let's take a look at the board. This has to be just about the smallest JAMA board I can think of. And you've got a 6502 processor, uh, electrically erasable PROM, uh, program ROM, graphics ROM, a video processor, RAM, and two pokies. Now it's very common that one or both of these pokies will be dead, in which case you've got to get a new one and the board will just reset, but that's not our problem today. Let's turn on the board. And we get just a black screen. If we turn on this test switch, the board will boot successfully into the test menu. If we move forward in the tests, we will eventually get to, to this page here, which has an option to initialize the EEROM. It says beware. You use the player one controller right to go down to initialize EEROM. You use the second player joystick to go right so that it says, yes, this will erase statistics. Then you have to press one player start. It says, please wait. And when it moves to the next test, it's complete. Turn that test switch off again, and we have Tetris. <coughs> we also could have erased that EEP ROM with an EEPROM writer, but this worked just as well. Yes! And that's how you bring an Atari Tetris with a black screen back to life.